Right, hello and welcome to the Geek Lab and today we're going to show you a quick demo on how to install and set up uh, the Amiga CD32 emulator on either the Mac or PC. I'm doing it on the Mac here but it's pretty much the same thing for the PC. So you are going to have to download several things to get this working. The first of all is the emulator itself. Uh, this is called FS UAE emulator. Uh, I provided the link down below in the description. Uh, if you just go to that, it will come up here. Now you're gonna have to choose uh, which version you want, whether it's Windows, Mac OS, Linux. And uh, once you're onto the download page, I suggest you choose FSUAE launcher dot app plus FSUAE arcade dot app. Uh, in my case here, 64-bit version, the 64-bit computer. So download and install that as you usually would any other program. Once that is done, there's two other things you need to install as a minimum. Uh, the first one is the Kickstart ROM, which is the operating system for the Amiga CD32. If you go to the link on the screen, which is down below in the description, that will download instantly that program. And you'll need the extended ROM for the Amiga CD32. So there is another link on the screen, which is also in the description, if you click on them and download those two. Now, I suggest once they're downloaded, you drag them into a file called CD32 ROMs. Uh, for ease of demonstration, I've put those two files here on my desktop but you can put them anywhere you want. You're also going to need to download a game, so go to any particular ROM file site you like and download a, an Amiga CD32 game, as long as you're doing it legally. <clears throat> Anywho, once you've done that, it's time to set up the emulator. So, boot the emulator wherever you've put it. I've already got mine running here. And you'll come to the FSUAE launcher screen, which is where you configure your different systems. Now for this one, obviously we're doing the Amiga CE32. So if you go to the Amiga model, there's a little drop down below it. Click on that and click on CD32. Once that is done, you're going to need to set up the kickstart ROMs. So if you click on this little chip, which says ROM and RAM, kickstart ROM, Click on the browser file over the right, and wherever your file is hiding, click on it. it says click start v3.1, open that, and then you've got the extended ROM to install. Click on the browse, and CD32 extended ROM, there he is. In she goes. So it should look something like that. Now, if we go to disk symbol, you can Browse for whatever game you downloaded. In this case, it's Cannon Fodder, and you've got the .cue extension. That's the one you want to click on. So double click on that, and that's your game installed. Now, before you start it up, if you click on Home, and go to where it says Joystick and Mouse Port, CD32 Pad. Make sure this is configured to whatever controller you've got plugged into your computer wireless controller for me and then the Amiga mouse make sure this is configured to your mouse as it ain't gonna bloody work once that is done it should be ready to go press start and your game should fire up here we go accessing CD32 please wait cannon fodder is loading please wait This game is not endorsed in any way by the Royal British Legion. I wonder why. Anyhow, there you go, cannon fodder. And if I press a button on my controller... Oh, never been so much fun. We can go. Cannon fodder is loading. Let's quickly demonstrate a game running. There may be some lag because I'm recording this full screen, but it should work well. Okay, so there we go, heroes. There we go. Kind of fodder is loading, please wait. Mission 1, the sensible initiation. Da -da. Let us go. Briefing, kill all enemy. Well, while this is starting up, 
Uh, if you enjoy videos like this, then uh, please consider subscribing. You can also join us on uh, Twitter and Facebook. We've got a popular Facebook group. You can have fun with like-minded people. And uh, please like this video if it's been of, hand of use for you. If you've got any questions or comments about the video, then please feel free to leave uh, a comment down below. And there it is, working. Yeah, leave a comment below, in, below if you've got any problems. And we'll see if we can resolve them. Or if it's uh, been of use to you, then please leave a comment as well and like. So other than that, thank you. Hope this has been of use and thanks very much for watching. Bye. <laughs> you need to quit being dirty. You're a dirty boy. Ha <laughs> ha